Hi, this is Paul again. So in this video, I'm going to show, how, show you how to sort the student's test data from either highest to lowest or lowest to highest. Um, the last video, we went ahead and we put together these headings for the test item analysis data. What we want to do is we want to take all this data here and sort them from highest to lowest. Um, I couldn't help but notice that we will let that last video, we've left these variables in here without any key or any descriptions of what they are. So before we go any further, I'm going to put a little key off here to the right hand side as to what each one of these variables stands for. So I'm going to click in this cell here and I'm going to just put n sub s um, sigma sub c and I'm going to insert that sigma symbol which is here and then it's going to be sub c and then I'm going to be d sub f and d sub c and again, you can leave them just the way they are, but I want them to be subscripts, so I'm going to go back and just select just the S. Go to the Home tab. I'm going to click on this little bottom right window that will pop up a window for changing it to a subscript. Say OK. And then do the same thing for the Sigma sub C. Just choose the C. Again, click on that little open the window. Put the subscript on there, and that's OK. To left, and again, the reason I'm doing just these this little key off to the side is if someone were to pick up this spreadsheet and try to decipher it, it would be a lot easier if they knew what these different variables represent. And so now we've got the variables off here to the right, and I'll just write in here what they are. So n sub s is the number of successful. students, hello, um, sigma sub c is the sum of the total credits for a particular partial credit item, d sub f is the difficulty index, and d sub c is the discrimination index. So now I've got a key for the, all these different variables. So now the next thing is this. Uh, we've got the test data and there's some indications who the students are. I've just got S1 to S10 across. So you might have student ID numbers or possibly names. You've got all the test data that's input into the spreadsheet. And down at the bottom, you should have the test scores. Um, and here's where my test scores are. And as you noticed, my test scores are already sorted from highest to the left and lowest to the right. But I'm going to show you how to do the sorting if yours are not already sorted. Now, the first thing I'd recommend, anytime I do a sort, I always save the spreadsheet at that point in time because if the sort goes wrong, I want to be able to go ahead and just revert back to the original version. You, of course, could go ahead and just do an undo if a sort goes bad for you also. But it might be just safe just to do the save. So now, um, going about the process of actually sorting the data. So I want the student IDs or the student names to go along with these test scores. So I'm going to pick this cell as the first cell in the data I'm going to select to do the sort. So I'll click on that cell. And then I'm going to go down to the very bottom right-hand corner and pick the last test score. And I'm going to select all those. So I'm going to hit my Shift key. I'm going to hold the Shift key and click on that cell. And now I've selected all the student ID numbers or, ID, or names and all their test scores and all, of course all the data that goes in between. So now I want to sort the data. So I go to the tab that says data. You'll see there's a spot right here that says sort. So I'll click on sort. And the next thing is the options. The default is to go ahead and sort the data vertically. And in this case since our test scores are listed horizontally we want it to sort in the horizontal or left to right. So you want to go to options and make sure it is left to right. Um, it probably is right now clicked on or selected to sort top to bottom. Mine is not because I was doing some sorting earlier in the same manner. So you just click on the button in there to say sort left to right. Say OK. And then I want to decide what I'm going to sort by. So I'm going to go ahead and sort by, in this case, row 26. The reason I know that is I can look down here and say there's row 26 and all my test scores are in row 26. So I'll just scroll down to row 26 and say there. And then in this case, I can choose whether I want it to be smallest on the left to largest on the right, or if you hit the down arrow, go ahead and go largest to smallest. I'll leave it smallest to largest, so you'll see all these values change in order from the smallest to be on the left to the highest on the right. So I just say OK, and the sort is completed. So now my sort is good, and I've got all the test scores from lowest to highest. 
Uh, the next thing I want to do, and the reason why we're doing this sort, is we want to be able to delineate the top third scoring students and the top, or excuse me, the lowest third scoring students. And I'm just going to put a border in here to kind of represent where these um, particular students fall in this list of all the data. Now, in this case, I only have 10 students, um, so I'm going to take that 10 divided by 3, and that gives me three students are going to be in the bottom third, three students are going to be in my top third. So I'm just going to just go ahead and choose this particular column. I'm going to just scroll down through here. I'm just going to put a border on here that indicates that those are, or that is, my top third. So I'm going to go to Home. I'm going to go to Choosing the Borders. So I'm going to get the down drop arrow for the borders. I'm going to go to More Borders. And up comes the uh, option for all the different borders. And I'm going to pick, oh, I don't know, just, just this, maybe I'll do this dash line here. And I'm going to select it to put a border on the left-hand side of that particular column. So I'm going to say OK. And now when I go back here, I can see this is now delineated. This is my top third of my students right there. I'll do the same thing on this other side. I'm going to go ahead and select and just scroll down for that particular column. And again, open up the borders function and go to more borders and in this case I'll use that same um, line uh, style but this time I'm going to have on the right hand side of that column and say OK and now what I've got is the test data or all the test scores are sorted from lowest to highest I've got the top third delineated out from the bottom third and as you know we started off by just going ahead and putting a key for these different variables the next video is going to talk about putting in the equations for those different variables.